Welcome to another episode of The Llama Theory. Let's see what Earth has for us today. Advertising and dinosaurs with skateboards have much in common. You know, I always like to get my theories right before I share them. So let's dive in. Imagine hitting the road for hours when you come across a signboard, the all new cheesy grid staring at you, and the best part is, it's 50% off. So you take a quick right turn and move your butt into the restaurant. You get the waitress's attention and order the cheesy grid. Remember, the one that's 50% off? The waitress gets a delicious order and goes into the kitchen to bring you the burger of your dreams, up in no seconds. Yum yum yum! She lifts the tray, and what the heck is that? I can still hear the chicken chirping. You're extremely dubious, but the waitress assures you that that is the cheesy grit that you ordered. You're super hungry, so nothing matters at this point. You quickly devour the funny tasting burger, and you head on to the cashier to pay the bill. After all, it's really cheap. And you're wrong again. What about the 50% discount? Oh yeah, you're not eligible for it. Why you ask? You see, while you read the big red discount sign, you forgot to read the tiny terms and conditions. Own a big blue whale? Won the Nobel Peace Prize? Ah, there you go, not a man with a cowboy hat. That's you. Well, now you're disappointed. But what does this got to do with the dinosaur riding skateboard? Well, you see, back in those days, there were no skateboards. Shocking? Uh-huh. Dinosaurs last roamed the Earth 66 million years ago. And skateboards only rolled in 88 years ago. Llamas? Well, they started roaming around 50 years ago, but that doesn't matter. If you were to fill up the gap with an ocean, you could watch Titanic 192 billion and 720 million times. Yeah, that should sum up the time span. What I'm trying to tell you dingoes is that the timeline wouldn't allow dino balls and the skateboards to coexist. Same goes to that burger that made you drool and the burger you were actually served. Because one's expectation and the other's reality. Just like oil and water, they don't mix. Ha! So now comes the big question. What does advertising and dinosaurs with skateboards have in common? We need a checklist for that. You see, although both may sound interesting, the idea of it is just too good to be true and so they'll end up breaking your tiny heart. Boo hoo chicken dinner. In other words, they're fake. So the next time you see an ad that's too good to be true, make sure to carry along a magnifying glass so you could read the terms and conditions. Phew, that was a close one. Even if you manage to have brought 15 friends along, just to say you're getting a full glass of beer. So there you go, two-legged human things. That's my theory. If you'd like to watch more of my science-backed fact-check theories, subscribe and check out my next video.